Uh, this is creative. Uh, watch that. Yeah, this is haunted, this one. Really? Um, our our bosses used to be in here years ago, going back when it first opened. And uh, they wanted, they moved offices um, and had them purposely built upstairs, like a, like a port, a cabin kind of thing upstairs because it was so haunted here. So, uh, I don't know if they exercised it or what, but it's crazy we're in here now. They've just got another room, so... Um, if you're making local adverts and stuff, then obviously that's why the piano's here, because you have to make your own music, you can't just, you know, if you were to nick, say, stay out for the summer, Haven, well Haven are paying a lot of money for Dodgy to, you know, to pay a lot of money to them to lift the track, yeah. whereas if you're doing buy a bike, then, you know, that's where this junior, that junior's advert originally come from in this room. Yeah. Uh, so it's not so much interesting, but so they're doing, they're doing it up. Musician, uh, yeah, we have uh, demos, like, People who make ads are in creative, so they, you know, like, yeah, he's can play guitars, pianos, yeah. you know, you've, you've got proper, like, software to make tunes and stuff in the same way Just Jack will probably sit at home and do it. He just mm -hmm. does it for adverts. Um, but it's like I say, it's not that interesting because they're totally doing this studio up, as you can see, there's hardly anything in here, but uh, in a couple of uh, weeks there will be. Right, let me out and we'll uh, take you to, uh, to news. What the all them CDs have sound effects. Everything you look at here has sound effects on it. So um, it's uh, you know if you, obviously because if you're making an advert, you might need the sound effect of I don't know a glass breaking yeah. followed by like a cast noise. Well, you've got to have them somewhere. So in umpteen billion CDs. Is this the same as that? Uh, yeah, it will be. Yeah, more. This just be a bit more basic, but same principle. Really. Right. Uh, Rock FM News. Uh, this is news. So all the bulletins are compiled in here. Um, if you look at it in a way, if each desk has a person on it, if that makes sense, if each computer. Um, so all these are journalist ones. Posters. Uh, oh, I've got that upstairs. Uh. <laughs> uh, and then traffic you travel, basically. Um, so again, not that interesting, but <laughs> if you want to be a journalist, <coughs> then this is where happens really because um, when we get news it comes from um, IRN which is like <clears throat> if you ever watch ITV news in the background that bluish kind of background you know you see people stand up and they're typing but they're doing all the work not for the telly for the radio bizarrely the telly comes from a different room but that's, I, that's IRN it's the radio division of ITN so they send you scripts which a rough script you just edit it you might want to put that word in there delete that line make it short or whatever um, and they send a lot of clips out so if you've got like say right well we spoke to Jay Goody well obviously we didn't you know IRN did and that's where the interviews come from but a lot of local interviews like Rock does a hell of a lot of local news more so than June FM because you've got more people to do them so um, you know a lot of people go out and will get you know sound bites from various people and stuff and um, you know, I'll be like, well, like when Pleasureland closed, obviously that's not going to make IRN news, but it's quite big to people who live in Southport. So you know, we spoke to people on the streets, and, and you know, that's how it's compiled. Um, this little room here is a little news booth. <coughs> uh, I'll just open the door. So we all squeeze in, but do all the bulletins from in here. So um, you know, just uh, all them screens there with like the wave things on. Every major room has a Dalek computer, uh, but I'll show you that in Studio Three. So that's just Lizzie sitting Dog. there. Dalet. <laughs> it's French. Should have asked her, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, really, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, come on, I'll take you upstairs. Um, so we have our music with like the pouch in the box so ends up with our drawers. So every major song comes like what we have in the radio show every week. We get about a drawer full, which is what I compile to the power. It's a bursting with toys, you know, when you do the toy appeal. Um, so, uh, yeah, where is Miss Piggy? In the bar in front of you. Oh, yeah. Lavin. Lavin. Uh, well, when we did a seance and stuff, this is this is where the altar was in the church. If you look up, it's not really anything being touched. And a few of them have got the hump. That's all.
around. <laughs> Some old photos when Rock was massive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you into here. Take you into Studio 3. So this is, in effect, the Spur Studio. Um, if, for example, like a lot of interviews take place in here, it's exactly the same setup as um, <laughs> Studio 1. Um, so, you, know what, you might want to pull for a few while I waffle for a bit here. So this is the desk, similar to what we have in the radio, but it's all digital. And turn it on. Each one of the faders, you can more or less change to what you want. So, for example, that says Cool Edit. If you press Change, it brings up a list of what you can change it to. CD1, um, FM Net is, if we do like the evening show, if I was to do FM Net and take <coughs> it and put that up, that's Key 103's phone. How difficult that first day is. And you know, I've so that's like Key 103 yeah. here for us, basically. You know, in know. the same way, when we do the Hit 40 UK, all the stations what take it, like on out of the film, you know, just... Is it because it has different sections and different things together? I don't know, Matrix is. Well, yeah, but they still do the phone lines <laughs> as well. Okay, so it has different sections. <laughs> Can you jack in? Oh, you... So, what they do, right, is highlight what they want, so... Um, there's actually nothing... That'll be like a show for someone's network show. That's just they just like the higher the satellites if you see outside. We change it, that satellite's dead. Um but like when we start up the hit 40, that'll say this is IRN channel four. Yeah, the, the bloke will come on it in a minute. So if you wanted to hire that um you know you can hire it, we could do a hit forty now kind of thing. Um so people just select what they want. Uh, news comes down there as well when we take bulletins. Um the uh, they're on here uh, that so at you see that that carrier beat that's like the IRN news just to make sure the satellites there and um, but 11 o'clock they read a bulletin for 90 seconds and it goes dead and um, so that's how you get news uh, and everything else basically is just like what we have here this system's called Dalit uh, <coughs> so whereas in the radio we have to farce around with stuff here we don't uh, it'll load up Danny's 11 o'clock out, it'll delete more or less where he's up to. Um, so all of them will start to disappear now. I'll delete the whole hour, I'll load up a new hour. So we load up, this is, this is the bedroom session. <laughs> so that's what Danny sees. Um, you can't obviously free spin your own tunes. So he's got 48 minutes of music, well 49 really. Um, everything is there for him, the jingles are in. Um, not so much on here because the bedroom session, but if we go to one... Um, so he has this mapped out before he even enters the, sh you know, yeah, the studio. You, you, yeah, so if, if you were on rock, you'd have to play Katie Tunstall there. Mm -hmm. You can mess around one or two when you come to the end, but it's top of the hours there, followed by New in Your Hand, followed by <coughs> the ID, she doesn't even get to choose his own jingle, followed by Eric Pridge, followed by the music pro, and followed by Sting. And then if we were to go to, say, one o'clock, so I have Burt breaks, so there probably won't be that many, so one fifteen, he takes a break, all the breaks load up, and the, the two minutes, 30 seconds... All you do on here is put the fader up, press the button, and it fires it. Cue up your next song, so as soon as that finishes, that's that one. That one's up and ready. And you see, like, it wouldn't be that loud. Press the button, you're done. Fade it down, gone. If I was to fade it now, it would go off, and that would happen on the air. But uh, you can mix stuff together, so you need the bog. You call up your in-flight mixer, and you select the stuff, and then you can pre-listen to this, so, um, zoom in, so. Point four. Rock FM. So we're, damn, the voiceover's dry, dry, there's no effect, so it's when he's just going. Point four. Rock FM. When it's like that. Four. Rock FM. Makes it big sound. Four. Rock FM. So that's kicking in as he says rock. Save it, you move forward. Pull it back. If you need the bog, that's how you, you seg them up, basically, you want to say, Jane, isn't it? Uh, so there you go, all our music, everything you hear on rock is programmed in here, nothing is. Um, if, if you're doing, like, for example, I did a, a link, um, a demo link for my boss, <coughs> and um, in my little tub here. Uh, I actually, I, I basically did a thing where, how long will someone stay on the phone for? You've all that you can hear is this. Well, this.
thing, even though it's two seconds, it has to be recorded in. It was Beaker. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's do that again. From the, the Muppets. Oh, was it not on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> So like, that has to be recorded in, in real time, so if something is an hour, it has to take an hour to be recorded in, not like a computer where you just go in iTunes and go, you know, because you lose the quality. So like, that gets me the call which I did, which was phone up Peter up in Southport and see how long they stay on the phone for, though they can hear his speaker. So it's like 24 seconds, so again, you do the call. Uh, and then record it in and tighten it up, so the call ended up being something like... That's what you tried. Hello, Pete, what's up, Lee? Speaking, how can I help you? So you just get the, the kind of Hello. idea, so stay on the phone for a bit, so I put that on like... Uh, I won't lock on, because the demo was like two and a half minutes with the link, but... Uh, so there you go, so anything you have to want record in, you have to record in. Um, and all our music is in here. Um, <coughs> So, uh, record date, so we pull up record date. So everything daytime you hear on rock is here. Um, I mean, we could, the first thing ever recorded on this new system was Michael Jackson. They don't really care about us in 96. So we've had the Dalit system from August 96. Um, so, but obviously it takes up a lot of space, if you know what I mean, because every major tune has been in there. Um, so like, you know, like we've recorded in new Kaisers, new Chili's, my chemical romance Justin and all, all the rest of it so again you can just pull that up you can drag that let it go anywhere so if we want it at the top let it go and there we go that's the new Justin simulate here and obviously you can fast forward it so that's how it works basically as soon as you do your adverts press your button just fires off the brake automatically um, so you know, you know, at one time you had to like stack up everything yourself so every advert was on a thing called a cart system where you had to go right okay well we've got mvr solicitors so we go to the book we find cart 13 track 2 and that would be mcr solicitors and then you'd have to then make sure the next one was in there and then the next one but it's adverts of 30 seconds people are running around like a blue ass fly so when this system was introduced it was a lot easier all our cds go in here um i took one in studio one you see so the cds <coughs> go in here close the lid so you'd never have to like touch your CD and uh, the case is about 50 quid and when you put them in uh, obviously it won't read anything but you never have to touch your CD so it'll never be damaged uh, but obviously it costs a lot of money for the cases um, but in the long run it saves you money in the CDs when we edit some stuff and this is like I guess be more beneficial for you Naomi if you were to see stuff this is called Surfer four lines of editing so you pull up I don't know 03 Bonnie and Clyde. If I drop that and zoom in, um, that is in effect what Bonnie and Clyde sounds like. Yeah. So when you record something in, that's why it shows up. So if I delete that and say I just delete that, that'll be the first couple of seconds and play it. Um. <laughs> you ready, B? So I might, might I want to take maybe just like uh, Jay Z's. You ready, B? So I can see there that that little bit is where you ready be like that'll be is you ready be you ready be so uh, say I want to take that for something for the sake of argument so we go we've got that and we might want to pull uh Nixon from a jingle I'm just doing this to give you an idea what it's like so um take a blip you are listening to Rock FM so like you that thing alone, the elements of that three second thing, you've got the like sound effect, you've got the wo woman going, You are listening to, and then you've got down the voiceover doing Rock FM. You are listening to Rock FM. So all of them little bits like that bit, like mm. all has to go on all these lines. So, yeah. for example, say we nick that uh, and then copy that, bang that there delete that and underneath that I might want to put a little effect which would just be like, like I don't know a rock FM dead slow so as we play across when it hits there it play that when mm. that hits there it plays that it will sound awful but you ready me? Yes, um. <laughs> you know what I mean so like and then you might want to like move that out a bit and that's how you get like yes, a, um. you know that's how you get like an echo or something yeah. but that's to, to make a jingle takes quite a long time because there's so many elements into it. 
Um, and then that's it really. So that's that's Dalit, boring <coughs> as it is. <laughs> but uh, it's each computer in effect that is worth about seventy grand. That's how much the program is per computer. But in effect, it is your radio station. If someone takes it out and pulls the plug, rock just goes and just goes off the air, um, which has happened. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there you go. So that's that. Um, there's not much else. If you when we go to Studio One, you'll see uh, Danny just logs on to his, his. Everyone has obviously a profile, and then you get your text and stuff just through logging onto a text site, and um, what we pay for, and they just supply us with all the text messages and stuff. That studio next door is Magic which is the AM station, Rock sister station, what covers the same area. Now that's an example of like networking. If you follow me, I'll take you through and... Uh, okay. <coughs> well, any more questions? Yeah, shout, shout the questions out, guys, and I'll do the best to, to help you. Where did you get the clock from? <laughs> <laughs> um, where did you get the clock from? That's the other one people have. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's no one in this studio between 6 and 10 in the morning. The guy who does the breakfast show in here is called Rob. At 10 o'clock, he puts up the ads channel, and he puts up Magic Network, and he presses the big red button in, and that carries right on from Newcastle right through until 6 o'clock the next morning. There's no one else sits in this chair, uh, which is like just a good way of saving money, but it's also a bad way, because for anyone who wants to get on the air, you just, you've just like, and this is not on here, this is on nine stations, so those nine stations only have one person on in the morning everything else comes from Newcastle so like like the radio when we just put magic up it's exactly what happens here um, mm -hmm. but obviously this is like someone's livelihood and he made a decision about a year ab about six months ago so in effect two this used to have a phone in on now and before that used to have uh, someone doing the afternoon show well those two shows are gone on nine stations so like 15 people were made redundant which is a bit of a shitty move really but you can't really do anything else about it so that's that, and it literally just runs itself. Just no, no mess, and it just you, you leave it like that, and it just doesn't. You have to have the fader up otherwise. Yeah, if you didn't have the, if I was to pull that down, what happens is this big red button. When someone in, in Newcastle goes, we'll be back with some, you know, uh, Frank Sinatra next on Magic, and presses the big red button to start the advert, it triggers them all off across every Magic in the country. Um, and place the advert, simple, but if you were to leave that down, then it would trigger them off on the computer, but the computer doesn't know the fader's not up, so you wouldn't hear it, it's so like in the radio, if you go, here's a new one from the Killers, and you haven't put the fader up, mm -hmm. then it's just not going to play, but technically it is playing, so it's the same format really, and you have to, and you have to leave the magic network up, because if I was to pull that down, so you're going quite quiet, you know, because that's, that's the volume and effect for magic. So there you go, so, uh, so that's that, I'll take you in Studio One. So, some people would heard that lower down. Yeah, some people would have done, yeah, but you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't make a difference. So, you know, you turn around and, uh, if you turn around and say, right, you're doing this, it's like, there's no compression. So, in rock, if I was to talk low, it would lift my voice dead high and it would keep it at the same level. Uh, these two, there's lots of compression that things call compressors. So, uh, that's why if you listen to rock, um, every, like you see everything's the same kind of length, you know, nothing really goes into the plus 12, it's really heavily um, compact, so I could go scream down the mic, but it wouldn't distort because the compression goes in an outside broadcast or the chart or whatever you're going to do, basically here, um, I could, you could, I can take rock off the air now if you have a, enough of these plugs and I can switch everything around and we could have like Key 103 on, well, obviously I won't, <laughs> um, so that's how you just pack various things too, so um, someone might be live from Blackburn for the Christmas light switch on, we patch them up in here and they select the right matrix thing in Studio One and they go, alright Gemma, how's it going on the road? And she goes, yeah, it's fine Rick, and you know, but she's actually stood outside like, you know, little <coughs> someone's announced or whatever they would be doing. Uh, all these are the phone lines as well, obviously again, all interesting. Um, if the studios break, you don't so much take the desk out, you take the crates out, so you just take that and everything, what you press in there, links to here more or less. So yeah, the ball goes in there, but if the major issues, you can just like get yeah, it, you can just put a new one in, it'd be okay. Um, and so these are the ISDN, so if you want if you're doing a club night and someone's in a the mix, then you just dial it up, just like high speed phone line, you know, and it's digital quality, so if you're doing interviews, you just go to the other dirt, dial up just in Timberlake. He might be in San Francisco, we're in here, but it sounds like it's where Naomi is, like right across the road. <laughs> 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 I 
I saw you on the cameras before, but <laughs> you were in the f***ing conga across the sales floor or something. <laughs> And that's Naomi, that's Hello, Adam, hi. that's Claire, hi. that's Tom, that's hi. Sean, and Lewis has got the camera. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big thing. Uh, everyone, Danny <laughs> Gay, legendary radio presenter, and all time nice guy. <laughs> Ten on the way. Uh, right, I, I've explained basically, but now you can see this is just real in a way. Same as Studio 3. Um, you know, adverts and everything. Uh, Dan slightly, like, well, if he clicks on the right thing, you see the text or something like that. Come round if you want, because obviously I've seen all this before. So that's how the text come up. So if you were to text Rock and the in, in your message through to the number, and it'll be like, "Hey, love, how are you? Can you say hello to my mate, you know, Claire or whatever?" Um, and that's that, really. There's nothing else. It's just the same, really. There's nothing. They're all the same, aren't it's they? Not that, yeah, same old, really. And that's it. All the CDs are here. So if you do like a top ten at ten, uh, or like Dan's got like the bedroom session, so they wouldn't really so much record an obscure tuning just to save the space on the on the computer's ballot system so um, on like the playlist everyone has a playlist um, so for example where it says there like dollar 029 that's the code so the computer knows to play razor light as opposed to like you know phil collins or something but it would just say like hash one two three twelve and you just go up here find cd one two three and it means it's track twelve is that um, special cd cases yeah, 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 they're, they're uh, but like this is, this is what it was like back in the day. Um, so there's like, we're saying when you can mix stuff. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so she just, I can go for a fag, I don't, I don't smoke that. <laughs> just give it up. Um, so like, that'll just instantly mix into the next tune if you leave the right faders up and stuff. Talking about that, you know when you told me now, hey, no. I said the green one, didn't I? Yeah, you said, which one was it? The green one, Nav B. Is it Nav A? It's Nav A and it went off every hour. You know, it was Nav B last time I did it. It was Nav B last night, then it would have went off. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so there's there one thing go. I get wrong then. Did you get that on film? <laughs> it won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Nav B last time. No, it was Nav A. Must have changed. I've got an email, but Anthony doesn't know. Right, I like it. He doesn't know so about Roy. Steve, no, I don't think so. Oh, cool. Steve Gregory's played it. Cool, man, lovely. <laughs> Fair enough. It's heavy green, isn't it? I know, isn't it? It goes I warm and it goes really cold, and cold and doesn't it? It's weird, these studios with these things. DD or me, this, we've run out of CDs because everyone nicks them all, <laughs> all the time from, uh, from, our, uh, from our engineer, and they've run out. I'm just going to get this caller. Hello, Rock FM. A huge one. Who are you first? Alright, Mel from Poulton, what do you want? I'm not lending any money. <laughs> okay, why can't you say goodnight yourself? All oh, right, okay. He's going to his wife and you're going home to your husband, yeah? Really? Christ, I've got an exclusive. All right, everyone knows, do they? You're not, you're not swingers, are you? Okay. All right. All right. Na night, Chris. Na night. Ta-da. Right, I'll do this thingy now. Any calls what come through, like, um, we do the phone in like that, so that only started yesterday, and yeah, they'll put them on live, but it's in delay, yeah. so um, obviously, like, when you used to go Mac and they and can just cut you off, or if you swear, there's about 10, 20 seconds, I think, on it. Um, but like you can edit stuff down, so Dan might want to use the call and just edit it. So um, you can go on a rock FM and go, hey look, can you play this song? And then you can play the song underneath. They stop talking, they, the song starts singing because it sounds really good. Or uh, the idea is it sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any morals in Preston? <laughs> it's unusually warm in here, or is it just me? It's hot in this day. this one, <coughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cost you thousand quid. <laughs> no, yeah. No, he, he believes. Hello, Rocky fan. Who are you? Just give us a second. He'll do with the link and then. Uh... Who's? Where was I supposed to say hello to you? Oh right, yeah, no, oh, do you know what? Do you know what I've just done as well? I've just deleted your call, I was going to play out on air, but I've been sidetracked. Chris, what's your, what's your fella's name? Right, okay, where are you going to? Where are you going to? Alright, ta. There we go, the Zootons and Valerie at Rock FM. Hello to um, Chris and Andy, I think, or Amy, or someone. Uh, they've been to watch Kylie anyway, in Manchester. And apparently she was very, very good, and she hasn't got a cough or anything anymore. She didn't go like I should be <laughs> lucky or anything like that. She's uh, she's recovered, and she was uh, putting in a good performance. So uh, I'm glad you enjoyed yourselves. They're almost home in pen with them. Thank you for listening to Rock FM. Take me to bed with you, the pair of you. All right. Sophie B. Hawkins on the way right beside you. We've done the 11.30 survey of life. The question on the 11.30 survey to, of life tonight was 39% uh, of women have done this in public for fun. All right. What would that be? Uh, Misha and Bakeup reckons have a wee. I'm sure it's more than 39%. Is it show their bum? Another one. Mooney. Another one come in. Uh, show their bum. Or had a wee, yeah, that's me. She bake up. We've had that one already. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through as quick as I can. What was that? Is the answer to tonight's 11:30 question something to do with the thong, Tara? It's not, Tara. Uh, apparently, 39% of people or women in Preston and Blackpool have done this in public for fun. It snogged another girl. Dirty, absolutely dirty, terrible. But if you're going to do it, i give you half an hour to stop it. Alright. Sophie B. Hawkins right beside you. I was supposed to say hello to someone else as well and I can't think who. Paul from somewhere or other. I've written it down, but sorry Paul. Sophie B. Hawkins right beside you. We'll do Snow Patrol next. Another award winning link. <laughs> That's <laughs> Right, you're going to have to... So we can hang on for a minute if you want to do the break or something. If you want to do the break and then yeah, I'll come out of the break. Sexy uh, together. So who does the show on? Adam's going to start one soon, and everyone else is just either being trained up or just not on the air. We will jam the frequencies of every radio station. To go on the air. Yeah. Why? I'm too damn crude. Rock FM. So much. Rock FM. I got told off today, I had a snoop with the boss and, and I had a cut. I'm not used to doing this show at all. And some couple said, uh, you say hello to us, we just we run our way home and we pulled in at the lay bar, we couldn't wait. So I, swear, I started talking about doggy. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been bollocked. I've got a page long email. <laughs> you can't mention dogging apparently. You can't mention dogging on the radio. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. Yeah, but he was at half six on the Sunday morning, so... <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was about this time, actually. Oh, God, I'm really I'm boiling here. It is dead hot, isn't it? Shit, shit, shit. Something must be wrong. <laughs> Lewis is a film buff. As you might have guessed by the... Uh... Shut the gas. Is he worth the social? <laughs> <laughs> Tax form's got to be in by the My ex-wife trying to prove that I'm earning extra money or something. <laughs> song. I can't read anything, look, it's just scribbles. <laughs> How rough it.
Well, I'm in there. If you can think of what I could buy for £85,000, because I meant to do that before 12 o'clock. Right, okay. And I'm running out. I'm on Beanie Mitchell, I'll go. Sophie B. Hawkins, right beside you. It's Rock FM. Hello, this is Danny B. It's 17 minutes to 12. We've got the bedroom session on the way at 12 o'clock. If you want to mention maybe to a loved one, someone you're missing, someone you don't particularly like because you've fallen out with them and you want to make up with them, whatever, then email me, danny.b at rockfm.co.uk. You can go by the website itself, rockfm.co.uk, or you can text me. This is my number, 84131. Start your message with rock. I will do your mentions and some uh, rather sexy tunes between 12 and 1. Snow Patrol coming up and DJ Sammy Heaven as well at Rock FM. <laughs> Louder rock is and that's the compression. So if we didn't have that, then you know we would just have to uh you know you wanna press the button. Which one? Press that one, I say. Yeah, hang on. So uh, yeah, um, so um, yeah, but whereas we just PFL to listen to something, you might want to listen to that phone call. We know what he took before. He will have yeah. to listen to that again, uh, or you might want to, you know, listen to a genius <coughs> to make sure it fits. Or you know, so that's what we do here. I, I do that in the hospital. The difference is we have to go out loud, Phil Collins or whatever, you know. So yeah. but I was on to hear you. You don't really have to worry. They're all got to be recorded in within the same kind of level. Yeah. You know, you've recorded something in ridiculously loud. Yes, it will be louder. But, you know, if everything's recorded into the same level, then it, it mm -hmm. sound yeah, good on the air. The one he took when he was on the phone to the woman. Yeah, um, like oh, that, yeah. We have a bank of five, so if you were to phone, um, you were to phone it now, then it will just, just flashes. So... So, like, as soon as that rings, I'll just flash on line one. There you go. So that's how you know. Yeah, easy. I thought it was live as well. When you took a phone. Yeah, I mean, some of them you, you could do. The yeah. phoning has to be, you know, like, because obviously you can't record, you know. Um, but you do it because you get people going, ah, yeah, and then just put the phone down. So it's like, it's not going to make good radio, is it? Yeah. Or you'll get someone who just sounds. All the art, they just don't sound good. They're asking for a song you're not going to play. But if someone phones up and goes, "All oh, right, Johnny, can you do us a favour and play a Snow Patrol chasing cars?" Yeah, not a problem. Okay, who's it for? Cool. Okay, we'll bang it on for you. So they might have. I took the call at five past eleven. <coughs> the song might be on at quarter to twelve, <coughs> but no one will ever know. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how. But it's uh, yeah. So they'll play it just before the song comes on, and then they'll play the song. Would you actually do it though? Uh, yeah, you can't. I mean, some people go, "How you can you play DMX?" And it'll be like, "Well, you're not going to play a rap song." You know, it's just it's just not what rock do. You know, rock's music is the way it is because it gets us listeners. You know, in the same way Radio One. Yeah, people might. For me, I, I love to play a couple of urban tunes or stuff what you don't know about the stuff I can't do on the hospital you know like Com and the Lamp or whatever you know it's but you, it, it's not going to win your listeners so that's why these tunes all our music is done by music testing so you can log on to the internet and it says what do you think it's like Snow Patrol do you think it's like a hit piece or a maybe basically and it's like yeah it, or it's a song doing your tits in if you click that button enough click, people click it the song goes off and that's how it determines so you might go okay we've got um you know, Snow Patrol's doing really well for us, so you'd be a fool to take chasing cars off mm -hmm. because it's silly, isn't it? You know, if you take it off, then um, you know people are like, "Well, I don't want to, people are just going to ask for it." So, why is it outcast? Tell you, that's all. Outcast. Oh. That's, that's how you spell it. Yeah. Yes, how do you it spell is. it then? On the CD, it says CA. No, it doesn't. Outcast is spelled with a K. No, it's spelled with a K. On my iPod, not my. On my album, it says with a K. It is. It's definitely with a K. Maybe it's just my CD. Is it a real CD? Yeah. 
No, it's um, a copied one. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> um, no, it's um, it's like another computer. Uh, like, like a best of kind of thing. Like that, yeah, yeah, like a now CD. Yeah. I've never seen it with a C mate ever. Um. So that should now mix into that. If it doesn't, then I just have to press the button. But. <laughs> How we doing, dude? It's just gone into DJ Sammy. But it's it's in a way. It's you know it's not the most entertaining because you can't choose your own music, so you've got to put your effort into making the link sound really good. You know what I mean? Making the beaker phone call a laugh or whatever it would whatever it would be. You know. This is the Northwest number one radio station. Radio station. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97